Well, the uh, European Union think tank also has exposed Pakistan's double standards on terror at the UNHCR. Addressing the 40th session of the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva, scholar Joanna Barakova told the UN body that Pakistan uses terror outfits to engage in a proxy war against its neighbors. She said that in, in an attempt to protect terrorists, Pakistan is willing to bring the world to the brink of war and even resort to the use of nuclear weapons. The Islamic Republic of Pakistan continues to use terrorist outfits to engage in proxy warfare against its neighbors. The UN Security Council's consolidated list of terrorist individuals and entities includes 139 entries from Pakistan. Jaisha Muhammad, Lashkar e Taiba, Hakani Network, and Jamatu Dava are all based in Pakistan and believed to be receiving state protection. In the wake of the recent terrorist attack in Pulwama and Indian administer Jammu and Kashmir perpetrated by Jaish e Muhammad, Pakistan's subsequent airstrikes unveil an ugly truth. The country is willing to bring the world to the brink of war and threaten to use its nuclear arsenal just in order to defend its terrorists. The sheer thought of such utterly reckless behavior should horrify all of us. In a recent interview with BBC, the Pakistani foreign minister himself accepted that the government of Pakistan is in contact with Jaish e Muhammad, exposing the country's duplicitous rhetoric vis a vis terrorism. Well, India has also mounted an intensive campaign globally to ensure that the world community pushes Pakistan to dismantle the terror infrastructure and end support to terrorists. <laughs>